Mr. Halpin, we have produced this video for your benefit so you can have a better sense of what, what our dreams are for this building, which we hope will become Halpin Hall. And it will have a new life serving, again, hundreds and perhaps thousands of students in the future. That speaks to having great bones, great spaces, so it has a kind of gravitas. It will have its own powerful message for everyone. And it will be extraordinarily valuable to the medical school. And of course, it ties to the past. And it speaks to the future. How better could this be? This building is beautiful. We could have torn this building down and built something new for less money. But it's of historic significance. Uh, it is celebrated by the community, many of whom have great memories uh, of the education they got in here. And the building now can be given new life by housing programs for the Commonwealth Medical College. The Manual Arts Building is an extraordinary bit of architecture. It does speak to its past as a, an, a teaching building for then what was um, the technical high school. But it also has great spirit. It is a formal layout, just as many older buildings uh, would have. It graces the lawn in the middle of this campus. And it will speak of a sort of rich history and a modern use. Its brickwork is beautiful. The arched windows, the spaces within the building are great bones and are very beautiful. And it has an extraordinary entrance, although we'll also be providing uh, a handicap access as well. So I think it will fit right here it will speak to the past, present, and future, and it will be an extraordinarily valuable addition to this campus. The Commonwealth Medical College is off to a great start. We've had four classes of medical school graduates who, are, who have matched wonderfully well in the residency match, and the education that we offer here is second to none. It matches that with any other medical school in the country. We've also had a very significant economic impact on this region, estimated at $65.2 million. That's where we've been. We are growing. We are going into TCMC 2.0. We're still a fledgling organization, but we are growing. And we need to grow because we have demand for our, uh, our educational offerings. And 7,300 applicants applied for our most recent class of 105 students. So we're bursting at the seams. We are expanding our degree programs and we need more space and we don't, without help, have the resources to do it. Helping us expand our space in this building is an opportunity to uh, have an impact on, our, on, on the growth of the Commonwealth Medical College and on our impact in the region and to leave a legacy. And here we think of this building now as an older building that may have past its time. I don't believe that at all. This is going to be one that has a great sort of centering um, spirit and therefore will be particularly important to the medical school. As you can see, the space in this building is going to be light and airy, but also very functional. And in this room, we anticipate the opportunity to be meeting with community agencies, to have large seminars or even arrange it for lectures. Uh, it's a very flexible space and could be used for multiple purposes. And the renovations to the building will bring out the very best of that, while also connecting to the uh, new uh, medical arts buildings next door 
uh, which would be both a handy way to access the building out of the body of the medical school's program, but also it will give us uh, uh, handicapped access right to an elevator and a stair, right into the heart of the building. So I think it's just, I know this will be an extraordinary addition to this campus. And it was just crying out for this kind of use. I took art class in that building, and I remember um, different assignments that we had to do that involved drawing certain architectural aspects of the building. And I always admired the beauty of it inside, and uh, I, I do have fond memories of being there. If this building is renovated, it's right next door to TCMC. You can take 10 steps outside and be right there. And I know that it is going to be just a gem and it's gonna be so beautiful. And I'm so excited to have it here a part of, as a part of TCMC. So it's really exciting to be standing in front of this historic building and thinking about how it will become a part of this innovative medical school of the 21st century, which is serving this community and improving community well-being. And I'm thinking of all of the students that will be walking through these doors and learning in this building and grateful to anyone who will help us achieve this vision. <laughs>